one real live example. I have set up here a little demonstration. And let's see if uh, we can do this. <clears throat> in, in here, you're going to see how vector is used for forces. I have a hanger. And I could put as much weight as I want on the hanger. I could even move these up and down if I want, change the angle. If I tell you this weight and if I tell you that tension, if I tell you that angle, you should be able to calculate that tension and that angle. Okay? So uh, you want to try this? Okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, you have three vectors. The sum of all three vectors should be zero, right? In this case, because the system is in equilibrium. So the sum of all three vectors are zero. So we know here A plus B plus C equals zero. OK? And in terms of uh, addition, how do we add two vectors? Put B to the tip of A, right? And then put C to the tip of B. And if the total is 0, you should get back to the origin. You see? You're going to practice this in the lab. You're going to have a uh, Couple of vectors you're going to add and see if they add up correctly. And you'll do the actual graph of this, you see. You'll do a two vectors and three vector addition. Okay, so if I tell you, the, okay, how much do I have hanging here? I have 100, 200, 300, and the uh, hanger is 50 grams. So 350 grams, let's convert that to Newtons, right? So the the magnitude of vector C is uh, 350 grams is what? 0.35 kilogram? 0.35 kilogram. And how do I convert that to Newton? One kilogram is 9.8 Newtons, right? So the, that will give us the magnitude of vector C. Point? Point oh, 3.4. Oh, yeah, you're right. 3.43 newtons. So the magnitude of vector C is 3.4 newtons. Okay. Um, and let me give you one of the other vectors. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me give you this angle, kind of. This one's going to be approximate. 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 60. It's about 72. So it looks like it's 72 degrees this way. So the vector B is 72 degrees to the left of the north, right? And its magnitude is given here. I could read it. Two point one. No, no, let's see here. Three, two point two. But two two point two. Two point two newtons. So Tell me what's the magnitude of vector A and its angle. Okay. So what we could do is do the x component separately and the y component separately. Ax 
plus bx plus cx equals 0, and then ay plus by plus cy Right? What is AX? Well, we, that's what we're solving for. We don't know. What's BX? 2.2 what? Well, I could either get the 90 plus 70 to do it that way, or I could do it like I was saying, uh, put the negative myself. Let me be fancy and put the negative B, uh, myself. So I'll do... Uh, the BX is negative 10 sine of 72, right? It's going to be in the X direction. So negative 10 sine of 72, uh, it's going to be opposite. And the CX, well, CX is 0. It has no uh, X component, right? So uh, this is 0. So now AX is going to be... 10 sine of 72 from that. So what do we get there? Nine point five one. Uh, B uh, no BX. You see BX here? This uh, component? Sine of 72. I see it's not always cosine. Yeah, he wanted to make it cosine. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, why did I use 10? Uh, we were doing 10, yeah. It's 2.2. 2. Two point oh nine. Okay, and then a y is going to be what? B y is going to be two point two cos seventy two. Now, when you go home, try doing this the other way. Try using the actual angle, and you should get the same answer. See, this is a good chance for you to practice. And then CY is going to be just uh, negative 3.43. It's just itself, right? So now take this to the other side, take that to the other side, solve for AY. And then you take the that squared plus that squared, that gives you the A. So this squared plus that squared, square root, right? Now let me go, this is the moment of truth. Let me go and read it. Of course, I can make it up to look myself, make myself look good here. 3.45. No, I was just shocking. Well, it's not that close. Okay. Someone come. Someone come and read so I won't make it up. You come. Read the tension here. <laughs> 